BC. How are you? Great, thank you. What drew you to this project? What was about the, the screenplay? I read the screenplay before I'd even heard of the book. And then, of course, I read the book, and it was like another, you know, well, that was the source material. And the, the power of the story really got to me. Um, I have a pretty vivid recall of my own childhood and adolescence. So it made me start thinking about when I was 10, 11, and 12, and what I knew about the world. And I started to respond to Liesl and what it must have been like for her to be a, a renegade, runaway, foster child, illiterate, grief-stricken, and go into a new family. It just, it kind of connected, you know? And speaking of that, um, sharing the screen with um, Sophia, talk to me about working with a, a young actress and, and giving to a young actress with your wealth of experience. Uh, well, I'd seen Monsieur Lazar, which was a film she'd done when she was 10, an extraordinary piece. So I knew she could act, because when I saw that movie, I was kind of in awe of the gift or the talent or the effortlessness, the grace, you know. Um, and I spent the last 10 years on and off working with a monkey. She was so much more interesting than that. And speaking of that, what's the big difference between an indie film, working on an indie project, and one of those big budget films? Like? <laughs> well, we're sort of between those two stools. I don't think our film is a super big budget, but it has a, you know, it's very rare for a studio like Fox 2000. Studios don't really do these kind of dramas anymore. Um, and to have such a kind of disparate group of highly creative people like Brian as director and Florian Volhaus as the DP and Anna Shepard who did the costumes. Get this, she'd also done the costumes for Schindler's List and for Inglorious Bastards. So she was really keen to find a new dimension to the, the people in a small town in Germany caught up in the Second World War. I know everyone wants to talk to you, so just one last question. Talk to me about what it's like to actually watch the, your work as their audience is also watching it. Is it nerve-wracking for you or what's, no, what's well, look, We're at a very interesting point because I only saw the film about three weeks ago, the, the, the very first public screening. The US world premiere was at the Mill Valley Film Festival about three, four weeks ago. So you're there with 600 strangers and you know what you've made and I'd seen bits when we were looping certain scenes. Uh, that's a very exciting point because I, I also work in the theatre so you get instant feedback from the audience. So it's nice to sit in with a crowd. This is its third public screening in America even though it doesn't open for another couple of weeks. So, uh, and now that we're in the heartland, it's going to be a different audience, maybe, I don't know. And speaking of that, um, your thoughts of Indianapolis? Welcome to Indy. <laughs> oh, look, it's great. Uh, technically, this is my first visit. I've been to Chicago before, right. but when people talk about the heartland, I haven't been there. And it really impressed me. Like, when we came in from the airport last night, I saw a sign for Peoria, and I went, wow. Groucho Marx used to always talk about that's where the real people are, yeah. even back in the 30s. He'd go, they're the real audiences. You know? So it's exciting. And I'm a musical theatre fan. So Gary Indiana from The Music Man and Cole Porter came from Indiana. So that's good enough for me. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to Indiana. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, thank you.